What's up guys, it's 3 2 one here, welcome you back to some more Kingdom Hearts Retain of Memories. So in the last episode we completed Halloween Town, and we became the spooky terrors of the night. So this episode, I think we're going to go to, we're going to go do a boss fight in, in um, Castle Oblivion, so let's go. Too clever. I'm Larxene. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories and awaken the true memories. <laughs> that lie deep in your heart. True memories? Although, it seems that you're still forgetting the most important thing here. When that poor girl hears that you've forgotten her name, why, it'll just, it'll break her heart. Poor girl. Do you know her? <laughs> is she here? Yes, she is. You see, the bad guys are holding her captive somewhere deep inside the castle. And you obviously are the hero, so you have to go save her. Although... Ah! I'm a bad guy, so you have to go through me. Sora! What's that? Is that thing mine? What a shame! You've been wearing it all this time and forgot? No, that's not possible. The memory has to be engraved somewhere deep inside your heart. Sora, you think carefully now. What, oh what, could it be? And who gave it to you? Nah. Nah. Meh. Sora, Sora, you're getting it now. Release the memory from within your heart. Nomi... Nomine. Well, it's about time. That's right, Nomine. Yes, she's the one that gave you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Talk about Heartless, I can't believe you. It'd serve you right if I decided to smash this piece of junk. Let it go! Nominate gave me this. It's very important to me. Oh, it's important to you. Ten seconds ago, you didn't even know what it was! Ooh, blows up with the mouth right there. Well, Lark scene. Real quick, I'm gonna do it right now. In Kingdom Hearts 2, I hate her boss fight. Really? despise it. So I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna have a good time. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have a good time ending her right now. Okay. Okay, I was trying to say... Really? She is a she is a bit of a hard boss. And you gotta make sure you gotta deal with her before she gets her zeros again. So just get Dumbo and just go crazy. I feel so bad. Lightning! Heal! Lightning! Ah. Freeze! 
trying to focus more on using like my high power cards because she has that zero in her deck hand. Oh snap! Why did you? What Donald? What is wrong with you? I'm actually getting, I'm actually getting tilted. I actually die. To be, yo, to be honest, I've never died on this boss, even though I only fought her like twice. Yo, why am I dying now? I've never died in my other playthrough. Like what the heck is with all these stuns? And she has a zero card. I just want to bring attention to that little weird slide she just had. What? Yo, I've... N Yo, on my first playthrough, I swear, I never had trouble on that boss fight. I don't know why it's so different now, because I think... Like... Yeah, nothing should have affected me that much. I had the exact same set. <laughs> You're not as bad as I thought. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who asked you? Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. And if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. I created another card from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. Ta-ta. Wait, Larxene! Where are you? Don't you dare hide from me! Show yourself! Sora, calm down! She's not coming back! Sora? I hate this. Why'd I need someone like that to bring back... Namine's memory? Okay, so we got Atlantica, Neverland, 100 Acre Woods, and Hollow Bastion. I'm getting close to my previous file. That boss sucked! She is so annoying! Namine? So that's her name. Aren't you glad you finally remembered? Who cares about who cares what the bad guys say anyway? Whew. Throwing that battle wore me out. Really? It looked to me like you just plain lost. Y How dare you? You don't appreciate the nuances of- An ungainly huh? effort. Vexen! How could you be humbled by someone of such limited significance? You shame the organization. <sighs> How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential. But I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. <laughs> well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. Sora, what's your first? 
We don't have time. They've got Naminé. We gotta rescue her. Whew. Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You'd be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good point. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that too. Huh. So Destiny Isles is in this game. I don't know how I did not notice that. Any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Let's go help Naminé. Come on, Zor. We gotta rescue Naminé from the bad guys. <laughs> Alright. You know, I think my problem was that I picked a card. I picked cards that didn't have any good recovery. So next in our list is Atlantica. Gorge, this is like the bottom of the sea. It sure does. So how come we can breathe? Hmm, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us. It's just like breathing air. But it's not air. See, someone's swimming this way. If anyone asks, you didn't see me. What? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Just promise me you won't tell. Hey, what's that sparkling thing you got there? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Remember, you didn't see me. Whoa, looked like she was in a hurry. She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. That, sir, is a trident. <laughs> Jeez, that first part took 20 minutes. This might be... This might be a 40 minute episode if I'm unlucky. But hey, we got thunder. And you know what's good about thunder? I can barely use it in this world. <laughs> so off the bat, we got some new enemies. I think this whole world is just going to be these new enemies because um, everything else in here is just like unable to. Oh my gosh! We got the jellyfish. We got the screwdrivers. We got the um, dark balls. I didn't know dark balls was in this world. I have literally been living under a rug because I never noticed that there was dark balls in here. Well, I don't remember. I didn't remember there was. Wow, four new enemies off the bat. <laughs> Just know that one or two of those enemies, um, one or two of those enemies are immune to electricity and gets a power up from it. This guy. All right, and I have leveled up, so I'm getting Lethal Frame, because this is actually one of my favorite moves. Stop time and deal multiple blows on an enemy. This is a Dream Drop Distance type attack that I love. To be honest, I love the Dream Drop Distance um, attack moves. Oh, we get a screwdriver. Nice. I wanted a flathead, but okay. Philip's nice too. <laughs> and we get our first new Keyblade. This is Crab Claw. I think this is currently our strongest Keyblade right now. Well, I say strongest because it's our best Keyblade we have right now because the recovery is maxed. And this is where we start getting to the expensive side of things. I usually have about like a thousand card. I usually have like around like 2,000 card points because I grind it in, um,. I grinded an Agrabah once, but since I didn't do that now, I guess we're going for all high 
costing cards because these at least have viable stuff. Got that. I finally get another cloud card. This is where we want to show off a new card. So this video might actually be a lot, might actually be longer than the other ones because I'm, there's like a lot of new stuff I want to show off here. This is Guarded Trove. So the chest in this area is going to be guarded by Heartless. And there's actually Heartless here. Oh, you have a, you have more than three hits. Freeze. Oh my God! Key to rewards. Huh. I finally got that card. I'm just going to say this right now. I haven't gotten that card until freaking yeah. Neverland. Let's increase more card points. Oh, hello. Yes. From this chest, we get Shock Impact. Oof. So, Lethal Frame. Let's go. Cast Stop on all your enemies. And the ones closest to you get annihilated. Here's another one. Shock Impact. It's so fun! And I have leveled up. So now, I need to focus more on my card points. Because I there's like so many combos I want to do. And I have just leveled up in this fight. Alright, so now we just need any red card. So, goodbye. And... I've actually got this. Wow. I'm surprised I got it in this world because I haven't gotten, because I've never gotten that until like the last world I've done. Which is not Hollow Bastion. Oh, woe is me. Is something wrong? Someone stole the king's magic trident. Atlantica is, in, is defenseless. And to top it off, Princess Ariel has disappeared. King Triton is worried sick. He won't leave his chambers. Ariel? She disappeared? Ariel's friend floundered would know where she is, but now he's gone too. Wait a sec. Didn't we just see Ariel? Yep, but she didn't look like she didn't look real happy to see us. Hey, wasn't she carrying something when we saw her? You don't think that was the trident? You know, maybe it was. What? But that means Ariel stole it. There must be some explanation. Ariel, why did you swim off to this time? If anything happens to you, the king will think it's all my fault. He told me to keep an eye on her and now this. What if she ran away because of something I said? King Tritonies will banish me forever. Oh, woe is me! <laughs> He'll pop his shell if we tell him Ariel took the trident. Guess we'll have to get to the bottom of this ourselves. Key of Guidance. Let's go back to the door I found earlier. Hope I don't forget about that shell thing. Alright, so we have also leveled up again. <laughs> I think for like... The next few, I think for like every once in a while, there's gonna be, okay, I've leveled up this, okay, I leveled up this, because I'm not really worried about showing off a lot of stuff. Homing Blizzara. Arrow, Blizzard, and Magic Card. I don't have Arrow yet. Am I supposed to get Arrow now? Huh. No. No, but useless green card and heart. Downwards, downwards, better take it from me. Up on the over there. There she is. This is 
is all my fault. I wish I'd never taken Daddy's trident. I should have known things would turn out this way. She did take it. Pipe down. Somebody's coming. No need to worry, child. You did the right thing. Why, I'm sure you'd do anything in the world to help your little friend. Poor Flounder has been swept away to the human world. No place for a little fish. Why, if you don't hurry, you might not have a friend to save. No! Besides, you're not giving me the trident, dear. Just let me borrow it for a little bit. You can save Flounder, lend me the trident, and I'll help you. I know, but Daddy needs the trident to defend Atlantica. I need time to think. Well, it's all the same to me. Just remember your little friend is dodging fish hooks while you twiddle your fins. Well, you can come see me once you've made up your mind. What am I going to do? Don't trust her, that's for sure. How long have you been listening? Oh, long enough. It doesn't matter. Sora's right. Don't trust that sea witch. She's up to no good. You can see it in her face. Then we all agree. The problem is, I don't have any idea where Flounder is. And she's the only one who can help. What about us? Come on, let's go talk to her. You shouldn't have to do this by yourself. Really? You'll come with me? You bet. I know how it feels to have friends in trouble. Let's get going. Key to truth. So I'm going to say this right now. This is the boss that gave me trouble in my first playthrough. I never died to her, but... Ugh. You know what? Screw it. It's time for me to show off what this door is. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> um. It's time for me to show off what this door is. Because I don't know if I can use this on other worlds. Because it's a yellow card. It's a blue chest, so let's see what we get. Quake. Gravity, Simba, and Magic Card. So these rooms gives us a t like slate. That's nice to know because this is actually my first time going through this room. And now we have Ariel with our spiral wave. And I just leveled up because of that. It's actually a good move. I think it's similar to Clouds, like where if you get all maxed out, she does more than just three. But I don't know. I never got her on three, but it's really... I just say that she's a really good um, teammate. Really good friend for friends. And now I learned Tornado. Arrow, Gravity, and Summon card. I don't have an Arrow card. God. And I have just leveled up. So now I need to focus more on card points and try to be OP. I got another key to rewards! There we go. Fire! Cold. Lightning. Thunder again. You hit him three times, and he drops random items at you. Did, did he drop a? He dropped a premium card. Dang it! Look at the wrong one. I didn't know he. I didn't know they dropped premium cards. This is actually the first time I actually correctly defeated one of those guys. So I've been on for about like two hours. <laughs> 
definitely didn't schedule anything after this at 7. It's 7.15 right now, so... <laughs> So many guests. Have you made up your mind, my dear? I'll do anything for Flounder, but I need proof I can trust you. You said we can save Flounder if I give you the trident. Well, prove it. But of course, see? Ariel! I knew something was fishy. There you have it. If you want your precious Flounder back, give me the trident. Ha! <laughs> Mine at last! Now I'm ruler of all this seas! Let Flounder go! But of course, I'm feeling generous. Which reminds me, you always wanted to see other worlds, didn't you? Well, dear, I know just the world to send you to. Unfortunately, this will be a one-way trip. boss. I didn't switch out my cards. So I might end up with the same predicament as my others. Ugh. The sea and all these denizens shall grovel before me. I'm gonna have the same problem. Ugh. Cause here's the thing, Ursula has some high powered cards. And it is really annoying to deal with her. I think the best part about this fight is that she breaks my card way too late. Let me get this. Get that. Hit the Omni Slash. She had a zero card. I forgot about that. God, I hate this fight. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Yeah, this fight's probably going to get cut. I'm surprised I haven't seen Pluto at all in this fight, because Pluto was the reason why I beat her in the first place. Like, I would run out of cards, only have, like, card recovery for, like, one thing. And, like, oh my god, that's a pearl. Do pearls drop now? I didn't know that. Oh, there was a Pluto card right there. But yeah, Pluto will come in here. I had like one attack card left for every reload. Pluto comes in here. He found me about like a bunch of my nine cards and saved me the trouble of just reloading every one attack. Please don't be mad, Ariel. That old witch tricked me. Flounder, as long as you're safe, nothing else matters. Now all we have to do is return the trident and everything will be okay. But if the king finds out you're the one who took it in the first place? I'll be grounded forever. Ariel! Ariel! Where are you, girl? If you can hear me, please answer! It's Sebastian. He came all this way just to find me. Yep, and, and when he does, you're going to get it. Hey, I know. Why don't you say the sea witch stole your trident? And you got it back all by yourself. Then there's no way you'll get in trouble. I just had the same idea. But I can't do that. 
I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie. Not about this. I know I haven't made the best decisions lately. It was a mistake to take the trident. But I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I'm proud of that. Blaming someone else would mean giving those feelings up. So, I'm going to tell the truth. She's right, Sora. Honesty is the best policy. Ah, uh, shut up, conscience. <laughs> hey, I was just kidding. Great, now I'm the one in hot water. Lucky this is cold seawater. <laughs> well, okay, let me just get some health. That's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Reach Head of Memories. This was probably a long episode because I recorded for about like two hours, so this is probably going to be extra long. But if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, as well as hit the notification down. Hit the little. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button down next to the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my gamers!